Hello, and thank you for joining me today. For today's Wednesday webinar, we are going to take a look at one of my favorite Google tools, Google Keep. I am Tina Souser. I'm a technology integrationist here at ESU 8, and I'm very excited to bring you or to talk a little bit more about this tool today. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what is Google Keep. And Google Keep has actually been very simply labeled as a note-taking app. But it is so, so much more than that. It was launched by Google back in 2013. And when it was first launched, I barely paid much attention to it, actually. And, and so did, very few people really grabbed onto it to get started. Um, but as I have uh, taken my journey this year through Google Keep, I find myself using it more and more and more and find lots of uses for it in the classroom setting and my professional Career. So if you would like to follow along interactively, you first you can either load the app on your mobile device. Any mobile device, you can, um, if you're on a Chromebook or web-based, you can go to keep.google.com. And I would create a note that is labeled either practice or training, um, anything like that. And you can follow along as we go through the features of Google Keep using your practice note. So I'm going to get out of this screen and I'm going to go into my Google Keep. And as I mentioned, please note that I have been using Google Keep for quite a while now, so I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, but a couple things about the platform itself. Within Google Keep, on the left-hand side, you will have all you will have the opportunity to make all these different labels just like you would anything else um, digitally, whether it's in Google Drive or on your desktop, any of those things. But you can make these labels in order to um, organize your different lists. Now, you can also um, have this. This is actually an extension. This is called uh, Category Tabs. If you go to the Google Play Store, you can get Category Tabs for Google Keep. And you can then organize them by color. And you can simply click through the colors as another organizational platform if you so choose. Um, again, you won't see this when you first load Keep, but you can get that as a, an extension. Um, so as I mentioned, we have a lot of different tools and features in Google Keep. So when you first land in Google Keep, you're going to get just the basic notes. And so in a note, you can, first of all, you can give it a label. Um, and then you have the place in which you can start taking your notes. Now, there are two different types of notes. You can just take the regular or um, a regular note, or you could make checkboxes, which then become um, like a list, um, things such as, if you have a grocery list or if you're working on a project or a collaborative project together, um, you can have a list of items that way. And it will give you the check, check boxes as you see down here below. Um, you can also, one of the, the we're going to talk through some of these features in the notes here, um, but those are the two types. So some of the features in our notes include the reminders. Now, the reminders option in our notes First of all, you can set a reminder based on date or time. Um, they have some general ones set up for you, or you could pick a date and time. So let's say, for instance, I want to be reminded tomorrow at, we'll say, 8.30 in the morning. So I'm going to pick custom, and I'm going to say I want a reminder at 8.30 a.m. Um, I could select it to repeat daily, annually, how, whatever I want. Um, and then I can save that reminder. Now, if I go back, I can also pick a reminder based on place. So let's say when I go to Target the next time I, in Norfolk, I want to make sure that I remember to pick up um, some, some diapers. So I'm going to type in Target Norfolk. Nebraska. So when I click that and I save, the next time I arrive at Target in Norfolk, I'm going to get a pop-up reminder on my mobile device, as long as I have it with me, of course, that's going to say, you need to remember to pick up diapers when you're here. Um, and so then I could also, 
as a piece of that, I've also added um, clippings of coupons that I have with the with the code, um, excuse me, with a barcode on it. So when I get to Target, I can just use my keep note as the coupon. Um, so just be aware that you can do that as well. So the reminders are a very, very, very powerful tool. Another way that I've used these reminders at work is because we travel so many different places for work, um, there's certain things that I need to make sure that I take with me. And so I will set a location reminder that when I arrive at work that next day, I need to make sure I pick up these five things before I head out for the school. Um, another very important feature of Google Keep Notes are is the fact that you can add collaborators simply by adding their email address and then click save and then this note now becomes a collaborative note between you and this other person. One way that I use that personally is um, my husband and I when we go grocery shopping seeing that we have three small kids we tend to separate and so if I create my grocery list as a um, checkbox list when he picks something up and he's in a different part of the store, he will check mark that and so then I know what he's done and what I still need to do yet and we're still in the same, and then we come home with um, what we need and not so much duplicates, which is a great feature. The other way that I see this working and I've seen this work in classrooms is on projects where kids are working together or collaborating together and they have a to-do list. The kids can use this collaborative feature to um, check off stuff that is done. But the cool thing about this is, is in a um, checkbox list, when something is checked off, it doesn't go away. It pops down here to the bottom. So if you find that you have a partner who says they have something done, but you may talk and or as a teacher, you might say, well, I don't think this is really done. You can uncheck it and then it pops it back into the list. And I really love that feature um, about Google Keep. So, um, and as you notice, my practice note went away because I did not add a color or a label to my note. So if I come back up here and I find that note, if I search for practice, is what I named it in the title, and I search, um, come back here to notes. Now if I label that. If I search for practice within my notes, I should be able to see that here it is. So now what I want to go back and do, one of the other features of this is, of course, all my other ones I labeled with that blue color. And then I also had them in my um, keep on, keep it on folder. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to add that label to this note. And once I've done that, then I could come back here and I could click on the keep on keeping on label and I could get all of those notes, including that practice that I just labeled with that. Or since I have this extension, I could click on my dark blue and I'm still going to get those um, labels as well. So that's a couple of the features so far, but I'm going to go back into my practice note here and I'm going to find the one. We go. Um, another feature of this is of of a note is that I have all I have image I can add any type of image that I want. Um, so I can go out and I can grab one off of my desktop or wherever I have it saved. Here's my image, and I can pull that right into my note. And so if I have an image and then I can take notes below here on that image, or here's another really cool feature, I can come into these three checkboxes and I can say, see how I have text up here? I want to grab the image from that text and then I can go back in here and I can change the text or add to the text um, or anything that I want to do based on the text that was actually in that image. Um, and so that's the grab, grab image text. And so it'll take whatever text you find in here and it'll transcribe it down into a note. So that's a re another really cool feature. Um, this is an archive button. You can archive your notes if you want to store them or get them out of your way. Um, in these three dots, there's the option to delete the note. You can change or add labels. You can add a drawing. Um, you can make a copy of this exact note. 
you can change to, to check boxes. Um, and down here, this copy to Google Docs. This is another great feature um, of Google Keep. So if I click on that, it's going to copy this information into a Google document. So if I say, once it's copied, if I say, okay, I want to open that document, what it does is it not only brings in the text from that, but it also brings in the image from that note. So when I used this before is I started using Google Keep to take notes at different conferences that I went to. Um, and sometimes they got to be a little bit big. The notes got to be larger and larger. And so then I'd pull that into a Google document instead so then I could go back in and add whatever I wanted to add. So that brings me into another feature of Google Keep. When you are in a Google document, you can open your Google Keep over here to the side as long as you're logged in. And you could take, so say for instance, if you gave the kids a document that they were supposed to read through, they could pull up Google Keep and take notes on that document. Or if the kids are collaborating on a project and they have a checklist over here, um, the kids can be in the same document and have the same checklist here and be checking off the stuff as they work on it. And that's a powerful feature because not only are the kids collaboratively working in the document itself, they're also seeing things getting checked off on the checkbox, whether they're not even in the same room or um, in the same house, per se, as they're working on it. So that's another great feature of, of Google Docs. Now, if the kids are working on another collaborative project, but they have their own Google Keep notes that they've taken, they can take those notes and bring them over into the collaborative document that they have. So they don't have to necessarily share the Keep notes if they don't want, um, but they could take their notes, and I'm gonna find one here, and they can pull them over into what they're working on in here. So as you see, I got another document and I pulled it over, or another Google Keep, and I pulled it over into the same document. And again, we have the text and we have the check boxes here and they come in like that into a Google document. So that's another very valuable feature of Google Docs and um, that was something that was just added recently to, to the list of, um, of, Google, of Google Keep tools in the Google Suite. Uh, one other thing that I want to show you is that when you bring in an image in Google Keep, you can annotate over top of those images. And so I'm going to get back to my notes over here. So this is an image that I brought into Google Docs and see how I've annotated on top of that image. Say for instance, like you're using a map or you're using something that you really wanna pinpoint some in an image. If you pull the image into a Google Keep note and then you double click on it, you will have the option up here to go in to annotate over top of that image. And then you have all your drawing tools right up here. So you can draw over top of those images right in Google Keep. Now, one feature that is in Google Keep Mobile, like the mobile app, is that you can take voice notes on the mobile app, and when you take those voice notes, it will again transcribe those voice notes into text. Um, so if you're in a hurry and you need to take a note or set a reminder or something like that, you can transcribe it, or you can um, use your voice notes to, to leave the voice and then transcribe that voice or that audio into text when you get to a location where you can pull it up in here. So that's another great feature of Google Keep. Now I want to jump back into my presentation because there are so many uses for Google Keep, not only professionally, um, but also within in the school. And so I wanted to bring some of these or highlight some of these for you. Um, and I'm sure that you'll come up with many of your own. But obviously, a to-do list, um, you can set a to-do list. And then in the Google Keep, there is the pen tab. So if you want to prioritize something that you need to do that day, if you click on the pen tab in, in Google Keep, it will pin those to the top. So if I want to say, I want to use this first, if I pin it, it's going to bring that to the top. 
And then I can organize those. Once those are pinned, I can say, okay, I need to do this first. So if I drag them around, I can organize them. And then they'll be at the top and then you can have your rest of your to-do list under here. And that's just that, that pin tab. So you can also, obviously, we talked about this a lot about taking notes, um, especially if you're collaborating um, with your peers or colleagues. A lot of times you don't have time to get together to collaborate and so you can do that right in Google Keep. Grocery lists, we talked a little bit about that earlier. Reminders by location. You can store your thoughts and ideas. A lot of times when I'm listening to a podcast or I'm watching videos, I want to jot down some ideas real fast because I usually do that when I'm running. And so if I use the Google Keep and I record audio notes that of things that I want to be reminded of to do, I can then, once I'm done with those audio notes, I can transcribe those into text and have those as a to-do list. Um, Create lists of common comments for grading. I love this one. This one is from Matt Miller. He said that when he was teaching, he would take um, common, common terms that he would use on grading papers, and then all he would have to do is drag them over onto the paper from the Google Keep note. I thought that was a great way to save time as a teacher. Um, again, transcribe printed notes to text. So if you have a PDF or something and you need to grab some of that text, if you pull that in as an image, you can transcribe that text. Group planning or collaborative checklist. Again, we talked a lot about that when we were looking at um, pulling that into Google Docs and, and talking about how you can invite collaborators. Meal planning with recipe links and images. That was one that was shared with me. Um, I'm not much of a... Uh, I'm not very good at cooking or baking, but I thought that would be a great way for you to use Google Keep in your personal organization. Now the classroom use, there's, I just listed a, a few of them, but there's so many ways. Obviously, if you're, you have shared group tasks or shared things to do, that Google Keep um, collaborative note is wonderful. I love the idea of using Google Keep or having students use Google Keep to track their own progress and their own goals. You know, how are you doing? And that could also be a quick exit tool um, to use, just a quick note and have them share that with you. It's a great journaling tool. If you find a picture or have an image and you want your kids to journal about it, you could share that Keep note with them and have them journal underneath or they could find one of their own and journal underneath and share that back with you. Um, peer or self-reflective process, you could use those Google Keep Notes to do the I know, I think, I wonder um, and have them give each other constructive feedback and, and how to use it to um, create more powerful presentations and things like that. You use it as a brainstorming tool. I love the drawing feature because you can use that to brainstorm your different ideas and then you could pull it in and, and into a keep note, those, that drawing, and then you could use that to, um, to work with a group of people on brainstorming tasks and things like that. A research tool. I've actually seen this used as a research tool before in a high school classroom and it was a wonderful way for kids to kind of create their own notes and then pull all the, the stuff together within the same or shared uh, Google Slides because you do have access to this Keep Notes in the Google Slides as well. And there is an example on here um, for flashcard reminders. Um, if I click on this, sorry, let me go to this. Sorry about that. Let me get to that, back to that. There is a link where you could use Google Keep as, um, as flashcards and how to use Google Keep to practice different skills and things like that. And so that link um, it are in, is in these slides and I gave you the bit.ly to these slides at the beginning of the presentation. If you have any questions on using Google Keep or how to use Google Keep, feel free to contact me, tina.souser at esu8.org. Thanks for listening.